see if this works. Is this thing on? <laughs> yes, it's on. How are you doing? Hanging in there. You're hanging in there? It's Friday. Getting frustrated with this Instagram live thing and people not showing up. Yeah, well, you know, it's, uh, that's the internet for you. <laughs> that's what, that's why, that's why we're here. Uh, so, yeah, well, uh, I, I got to catch some of the other artists. They sounded great. It was fun to kind of, it's fun for me, you know, I'm, I'm kind of here in this kind of uh, very acoustically room. So all everything that they were doing, I got to hear pretty well. So it was really nice. Thank you. Let's, yeah. Let's you and uh, AC Jones, she and Rhonda. Yeah, very cool. Um, well, yeah, I mean, uh, this is really cool what you're doing for artists. So, uh, as the last artist mentioned, you know, it's very much appreciated, especially during this time when, you know, we can't be out on the road. Uh, right now, I'd be on the road driving before a gig. So, uh, this is kind of nice. I only had to go five feet from my bedroom to here. So, it's probably the shortest gig I've ever had to do, you know? <laughs> Right. I still shape. I still shape though, so that's something I still have to do though. But you know, uh, but yeah. So what would you like? One to do? viewer. You got one viewer right now. I got one viewer. Oh, Brittany Shormita. I bet that's Nicole. How are you doing, Nicole? Hello. Hi, Nicole. A long time no see. Yes. Some people. Some peeps. Well, uh, you want me just to kick it off? Yeah, play whatever. Um, I'm going to start with uh, one of my uh, the songs that kind of uh, helped me jumpstart my career. It's called Zombie Heart. It's off my Finer Things album, and uh, it was a lot to the song. How are you doing? And uh, it's just about kind of being in limbo, which we kind of had as soon as we jumped in here. And uh, here it is.
we did that. We were dating. We had a great, uh, great relationship. Another singer songwriter, which I learned a lesson: don't date other artists. <laughs> Either you become one of their songs, or you know, weird things happen. But uh, uh, you know, uh, we're good friends now. But uh, she inspired a couple other songs. But that was the be- that was the the non happy part of that relationship. And then you know, things amended. And now we're all good and happiness and joy. <laughs> Oh, let me tell you this. Ghost is not. It is not, but that's part of that internet culture that we were just talking about a little bit. You know what I mean? It's that whole uh, lack of true communication with one another. And um, I believe respecting other people's time. I believe that's very important. Um, And uh, I think sometimes we forget that in our modern world. We kind of just think everything is so instantaneously that we forget that people are real. (laughs) You know, they're not just pictures. Uh, so that's something that uh, yeah, I think is very important. I agree with that. Yeah. Pretty real conversation. One with one with uh, another artist named Isaiah, and yeah. just conversations. It was like it was. It was you know. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. You know, I, yeah, uh, I remember we kind of talked on the phone about that a little bit last week, just about the connection thing and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, this is kind of a different thing. That's why, you know, guitars, uh, they don't really uh, go anywhere. <laughs> they're always pretty, they're a pretty stable relationship. <laughs> but uh, I don't know how many songs you wanted me to do. I can do my new single if, that's in- if that interests you at all. Go ahead. Right. I don't understand it. Okay. Uh, this is called Never Felt This Way Before. And uh, I wrote this. Where was I when I wrote this? I was in Texas. I disappeared to Texas for a little bit and I wrote this. And um, I was, again, dating someone. And uh, we kind of connected more on just not just a mental level and a physical level, but it was everything plus. And. Um, it felt great after a few years of not having that. And I wrote this on piano. And uh, at the time, I didn't quite know how I wanted to write the song. I just, I just kind of did the chorus first because it came to me out of the inspiration. Spending one time, one evening with her. And then uh, when we broke up, then the rest of the song came into place. And it's kind of funny that that ended up happening like that. But, uh, but yeah, again, that's how the song creation kind of works so it's called never felt this way before Thank you. 